Hello world, for the past couple of months I've been building these above ground gardens in my backyard. Sorry for the shaky video, but it was windier than I thought this morning. And so we're going to uh, take a look at these IC station resistive soil moisture sensors, uh, but not in the garden. We're just going to take a look at the setup procedures and um, how to get the, re the readings from the Arduino serial monitor. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please like it if you did. Thanks. All right, so before we check out this IC station resistive soil mo moisture sensor, uh, welcome to the 135th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So this soil moisture is going to be able to tell me the moisture levels of our garden. And then it, what I eventually want to do is get it to send a pulse to a Raspberry Pi or something to start a a drip irrigation pump and then I want all of that data sent to my open hab home automation system and then I want that data to be sent to my Python digital assistant but first we'll check out this tiny sensor outside of the garden so what it is is this uh, resistive right here it measures the resistance and you should have a resistor but I don't have one in here um, and that's fine because I don't know how I'm going to set it up, like what kind of box. And so uh, you just buy these. These are really cheap. Uh, it says it lasts about six months and then eventually these uh, will start to corrode. Um, so, but they're like $2 each by itself. And it comes with a four pin and I hope it focuses for you. Okay, so you can see there are four pins there. I have the red positive wire to the far left, the black uh, ground to the second, there's an empty digital um, output, and then there is the green analog output. So I'm not using the digital output, that is a different reading that you can use. There's also this power light that's red, and then if you look above the red light there's a resistor there that you can manually adjust the readings. And then on our Arduino board, you can see the red is connected to the 3.3 volts, the black is to the ground, and the green is this A0. And that is how you hook it up. And then at the very top, the um, whole thing is connected here at the top with this little connector. All right, and then I found this code here in Arduino. I found a bunch of codes I didn't really like, so um, I kind of took a bunch of them and set up this one. So first you're going to hashtag define sensor pin A0. And so that is the um, where the green wire is connected to the analog output. Then we want a float, which is the sensor value, and we're gonna set that to zero. And then in our startup, all we're gonna do in our setup loop is just going to serial dot begin and the baud rate is 9600 and so that is the USB baud rate of um, if you hook it up to this port right here so that's the serial baud rate and then in our loop what we're going to do is for i equals zero i is less than a hundred um, and then increment what we want to do is do a sensor value then the sensor value equals the analog read sensor pin, and that's defined up here. So it's going to read the analog output, and then we're going to delay a millisecond, and then we're going to take that sensor value, which is here, divide it by 100, because it's actually in the, um, we're in milliamps, it measures milliamps, so you have to divide it by 100 to get like um, a percentage within 1,000. And then we're going to print line, and what we're going to print is this sensor value, and then we're going to delay 30 milliseconds. So what does that look like? Um, like this. And so I haven't calibrated it. You can install a uh, resistor in there to calibrate this, because this technically should be a thousand, if you will. So um, if I were to divide this by a thousand, I would have 67.1%, when technically it should be 100% because there is nothing connected to these leads right here. 
Um, so we can adjust the the resistor that comes with it here as well to get that to 100, but I'm going to wait until I do soil testing. But to check that it works, we can ground it out. Um, oops. We can ground it out, and what I'm doing is touching both of the leads. And as you can see, we're at 0 0.0 and some rounding, um, maybe the resistance of my little screwdriver. And then when we take it back up, it goes back to the uncalibrated max resistance. And then again, there. So basically, if it's so the more water that's in your moisture, the more resistance you're going to have. And so that's what we're testing. So we're going to have a baseline of whatever the resistance of the soil is. And as the soil becomes uh, more wet, then it will measure the resistance. And whatever resistance value I set it at, right, and we'll probably have to calibrate that in the soil, which we'll do in a new future video, I want it to send a pulse to either another Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. Um, and I have two garden boxes, as you saw in the introduction of this video. And so I'll have two connected. And what I can do is just, uh, as you can see, there are six analog outputs. So A0 through A5. That's how computers talk. Uh, zero is the first index. And what we can do is have six of these sensors if we had to, or uh, just two of them, send the pulse to a Raspberry Pi. And then that will start a, a pump with a relay connected to it. And um, once the resistance is where I want it to, to shut it off, it'll send that pulse to shut off the pump. So once again, um, this, is, this should be max resistance. So we can calibrate that. And then let me uh, short out these leads together. Then we have 0%. So pretty simple, not much to it. Um, I will put this code in the description. So you can check it out if you need it to. Um, and that's pretty much it. So sorry about the bad quality. I had a, my camera uh, stand break, so I'm using my kind of webcam. But you get the point. So please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching me build my uh, either home automation or garden. And uh, like this video and leave a comment if you're working on something or if you have a channel where you... Uh, you know, you have an automated garden because I would love to see everybody else's. Well, thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.